I am the worst out of to make a video about James, Kona Jane. Um, first of all, I just want to thank him so much with all my heart because, you know, the Lord gave me the most beautiful um, foundation before I met him, which was love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness and self-control. And the Lord was just teaching me to, and it was so painful because I all, all I knew before that was Daniel's prophecy, Amos, Isaiah, you know, it was full of complicated prophecies and and I wasn't sure what was true, what was not true. true. And, um, and I liked the fact that he was a Muslim because then, but he wasn't a Muslim where he was following, anyway, he was a rounded out realist. If it's black, he would say it was black. If it was white, he would say it was white. So he was the most unconfusing man ever. And he's got a heart of gold. You know, when I only told him a little bit about my story, the tears were streaming down his eyes, not in a gay, poofy way, the way, it's, you know, it's like unmanly, but his back was straight and the tears were coming out in a Yul Brynner way. <laughs> you know, and um, I was at his knees and and I just felt like the Lord had went inside him, literally went inside him to show me how he felt about things, you know. So I suppose it was God romancing me, you know. And I loved him so much because he, he took me out on a date, right? It was the nicest date I've ever had in my life. And... Um, he, when I got up to dance, <laughs> he sat down as if I'll never get her, you know. And he left me alone on the dance floor and I was like, excuse me, <laughs> could you come up here please, you know. But I fell in love with him then because, I don't know, it was like so honourable of him to think I'll never get her and then sit down and say, go on, enjoy yourself. What man does that? You know, men usually, I'll never get her, so I'll steal out her purse so she's got no money and then she'll rely on me or I'll shit in her garden so that she'll have to come to me. You know, things like this. He was so manly, it was unbelievable. So gentlemanly. I've never seen even, I've never seen a gentleman like this gentleman. And he, till this day, all he cries is, give her back her children. She's a mother. Give her the, the love and respect that is due a mother. And that's why I love him so much, you know. Um, and he honoured me and he honoured my children. Honoured my children. And I respect that so much, you know. And even though they were scratching, well, one of them was scratching him to death, he was still honouring her and treating her as a father should treat her, you know. I believe he is the strongest man in the world. He really is the strongest man in the world. And I don't know right now where he is or how he is or anything. But I pray he rises up and takes his place in the world. You know, if he wants to be a mayor of society, let him be the mayor of the world. And when he saw the My International Business Plan, he didn't scoff at it. He didn't say, you won't make it. He looked at it as if, okay, so this is where we're heading. Great. And he just helped me head there. And I started getting inspirational sights when I was with him. So much support and help. He didn't try and suffocate me with his love. He kept pushing me towards God. Pushing me towards God. You know, saying, do your prayers, say your prayers. You know, and if I was getting lost, he would look at me and say, why are you lost? You have a God, you have a Father. So every time I was falling, he was pulling me up. And I love him so much. I love you so much and I hope I can say it to your face. <laughs>